Hi, my name's Harriet, and I'm here to talk to you today about this adorable book called Room on the Broom, written by Julia Donaldson and illustrated by Axel Scheffler. This is a picture book, and it is done quite well thanks to Axel Scheffler's illustrating abilities. All of his pictures are going to look something like this one right here, which as you can see is very detailed and shows kind of what might be happening in the story. You could go through this story without being able to read it and make predictions about what may or may not be happening throughout the story as well. I think this book would be great for around Halloween since it is about a witch. The basic summary of this book is that there's a witch going on a journey through a bunch of different lands. In every new setting she goes into, she loses something off of herself or off of her broom. And she must land her broom to go down and find the item that she has lost. And every time she has difficulty finding the item until a creature from the area in which she is in comes out and helps her look for it and eventually helps her find it. After the new animal has found the item in which she lost, it asks for passage with her on her broom, and she, of course, agrees. And then at the end of the story, as you can imagine, she has quite a few animals racked up with her. And there is a bit of a twist at the end, but I'm not going to spoil that because I think you should read the book yourself and find out because, again, it is quite cute. This story, I would use it in a classroom for kindergarten through second grade. And what I would do with it is read the story and then have the students do a theater reading. So they would read the story with me and then they would act out what happened throughout the story. In doing this, I think you would get kids more involved in what they are reading and make sure they're paying attention because they're, they know they're going to have to act out what has been happening in the story. So they're going to have to pay attention so that they know what's coming and what they need to do in order to make the recreation of this book happen correctly. For English language learners, what I would do is have them um, with me, and if they had any questions, I'd give them extra time to ask those questions and make sure they comprehend the book. I would also figure out where they're needing more help than where they're not needing any help, and I would be able to work with them on those different parts. I think another thing I would do is I would get pictures for words that they may or may not understand in the story so that they can relate those words back to the pictures if they can't pick up on the context clues from the sentence that the word is in. In doing this, I think that would make sure that the student knows that they know the information and that I know that they know the information and that they are able to take that information they have just learned and be able to implement it somewhere else. So if I had another activity for this book, they would be able to do it based off the extra help that they may have gotten. Um, I think it's important for students, especially English language learners, and anyone who needs help to get the help they need, especially with stuff like this, so that they can understand the material and be able to work with it and comprehend it and know that it's something that they have a control over. Room on the Broom is an absolutely adorable book. It is one of my new favorite books. I would recommend it to anyone, including my fellow practicum, student, uh, practicum classmates, because it is really quite an adorable book, and I think the grades we are in this semester would really appreciate it and like it and have a lot of fun with it. But yeah, that's Room on a Broom. You should go out and check it and buy it today.